Off-Road Supercar Configurator Dreams Lamborghini Storato or Porsche 911 Dakar Our editors make their cases for which new off-road supercar is best. Earlier this year, the all-new Lamborghini Huracan and Storato finally made good on over a decade of its parent company, VAG parading off-road supercar concepts through its other family brands, like the Audi Nanak and the Ital Design Parkour concept cars. The idea finally landing at Lamborghini seems fine. Given the brand's attitude and its status as the last shepherd of the company's V10 engine, but the automaker took so long getting it on the road that Porsche has now caught up with its own off-road production supercar, the recently unveiled Porsche 911 Dakar. A production car like this, no sports car rally history to speak of, and few owners building up a mid-engine Lamborghinis like a Mad Max Super Wedge. Only one question remains, which bank are we going to rob? Question mark dot dot no. The true question is which car we'd rather have, and the Motor Trend editors are pretty split, so we've compiled a group of our arguments, in case you happen to be able to afford either model, but not both, and need help deciding which is best for your needs. Plus, you get to see just how tasteless we can be. All in good fun. Lamborghini Storato Associate Editor Duncan Brady I'm a huge Porsche fan, but if I was shopping for an off-road porker, I'd find a Cayenne Transiberia or get Madman Lekin to build me one of his Safari 911 seconds, maybe both. What I love a booth Hurac and Steratus that there's zero precedent for. A production car like this, no sports car rally history to speak of, and few owners building up a mid-engine Lamborghinis like a Mad Max Super Wedge. Also, it's gotta be the coolest V10 off-roader since the Volkswagen Tourug TDI and it will undoubtedly make better sounds than the 911 Dakar, which should really have the 640 HP flat 6 from the Turbo S or the free-breathing Shrieker out of the GT3. I'll take my Storato in full bonker spec. Blue. Glocko with bronze wheels, light pods, all the decals minus the silly racing number, and crossbars to carry my color-matched roof box. Porsche 911 Dakar Associate Editor Billy Rebuck. For me, the Porsche 911 Dakar wins with its maximum ride height of 7.5 inches, over half an inch more than the Lamborghini Storato. The fact that the extra lift can be deployed up to 105 miles per hour seals the deal for me. My build is a perfect one car solo. Options, paint to sample, Irish green, 12, 830 carbon fiber roof, 3, 890 protection film, Front, 2, 700, exterior mirror base in exterior color, 660, 911 Dakar under door puddle light projectors, 370 Porsche design subsecond clock, 1, 120 brake calipers in high gloss black, 900 wheels painted in, white Irish green with PTS, O titanium wheel bolts, 1, 800 surround view, 1, 430 ionizer, 350 central tachometer in white, 420 air vent surround and air vent slats in leather, 1, 800 sun visors in leather, O, owner's manual wallet in leather, 480 bespoke door sill guards in black brushed alumi, illuminated, 1, 350 Burmester high and surround sound system, 3, 980 total price, $257,530.